we can always watch these later, but today we're looking at, I think it's the seventh day of the expo, and we have Espera on show, which I have uh, really little to no idea what they do out of all the manufacturers. Quite a few ships, which are obviously alien, and a couple things on the bottom, so let's go to taking a look. The Espera Blade. It's like a recreation, I think, of a Vandal ship. Yeah, that's what they are, and the Espera has been uh, recreating them, which is a very interesting business model. It's got those funky alien-looking cannons. I think... No, those aren't cannons, but... This is a light fighter, I believe. I don't even know how to... How do I get into this thing? It's... I mean... Well, obviously, these are the engines. I mean, this thing just stands out so much, and I feel like if you were uh, in a bit of a shady place, someone would blast you away just because you're driving a, or flying a ship that is, uh, well, so alien in design. The Banu Defender. Huh. This is another alien. I think the Banu are actually friendly, although I haven't really checked on that. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of engine issues in there, but... This is just another one of the alien ships, which is not a recreation as far as I know. It's literally Banu selling it through Espera, I believe. But once again, it's got the very unique looking, almost uh, organic look to it. Yet, of course, all of these are, you know, metal or other pieces that are not uh, fleshy in any other way. And that purple accents right there, those are uh, interesting. This is, is pretty big. It says it was a, I think a light fighter, but I suppose these are the beds right here. Look at this funky. Oh shoot, man! These uh, these seats they uh, they look comfy. And I guess, uh, I didn't realize, but of course there's two cockpits on this thing, which is very interesting. I don't know if you need two people to pilot it, but that's rather a cool design. A very, very peculiar ship. It almost looks like a crab. I mean, look at that. You got the eyes, you got the crab, uh, pinchers. I mean, I'm not the only one who sees it, right? Now this, I think, is Espera's pride and joy. It's a drop ship. Yep, it's a prowler, which I believe um, has some alien technology put into it. I'm not sure. It definitely has a very unique look to it. This is a. Uh, it's got these repulsors that you'd see like on the uh, one of the Drake little little bitty scooters. And man, it's just this is one of my favorite designs. It just has such a. It looks like a bird. I mean, look at the arched back on it. Very interesting. And what the frig is that sound? I didn't really turn on these speakers, but here... Is where all the dropships are. I mean, this is looks like you can get people in the center, people on the sides. They're packing as many people as they can in here. Looks like this is a uh, side entrance. And of course this, oh wow, this is the co-pilot seat. Well, how do I get into the pilot seat, I wonder? And also, how do I see out of this thing? I just realized that it's completely armored. Huh, that is something to wonder. I've never seen a ship like this that the entire front of it is armored. Although I, I suppose you'd want that for a drop ship because uh, you're not going into the nicest of places with something like this. After wandering around like an idiot, I uh, couldn't figure out how to get into the pilot's seat, but my gosh, this is a very interesting looking ship. Especially with this bottom part. I love this right here. This just, uh, I don't know what to call it. Chin, I guess. <laughs> now this is the Vandal, I'm going to butcher this, scythe. No, wait, it's the glaive. Or the Espera glaive, excuse me. Which is, of course, like I, like I originally said, 
a replication of the sand Vandal Scythe. It's got these big old cannons right here, which look very mean. It's got, you know, it's got swords on the end of it. I mean, come on, what ship has swords? You can stab your enemy's ships. Pretty cool. And for a fighter, this is gigantic, although I believe the Vandal are rather large. I got no clue how to get into this thing, but this is heavily armed. I mean, I, I don't know of too many ships that have this size cannon, which I mean, I'm fairly certain it's cannon, and are classified as what? A medium fighter? I mean, I'd say this is almost a heavy fighter. I mean, come on. Very menacing. You don't want to mess with this ship. Gion Apoa Kartu Al. I probably butchered that. But this is a very unique ship. I've actually flown this before. And what this thing does is these actually fold completely out because I think the ship flies vertically. And I guess this, I've never seen it landed before. It's, it's, it's so weird, but it flies vertically. And these are the engines on it. They completely rotate all the way around. And uh, it's, it's very alien in design, but looks more uh, human, I'd say, than the other ones. But it's a very unique looking ship when it's flying about because of its vertical stance. And I think, yeah, I can actually get in this one. Or it actually shows me how. And do you see that? Floating steps. Ain't that cool? And also, look how you control the ship. You use the little crystal balls. That's pretty cool. As a light fighter, it uh, looks like it's got a couple guns on it. I think that's it, so it fits the light fighter category, but... Man, these things, they're so cool when you see them flying about because of their just very unique stance. Got some uh, funky cannons over here. Just thought I'd show them off. Ah, and here's another addition to the various, uh, we'll call them speeder bikes you can have in the verse. These are the, oh, a POA. Knocks you, which are for racing. Huh. So these are, ex well, probably not exclusively, but that's what they say, although I suppose uh, you wouldn't need these for racing unless you're uh, having some, a bit of an aggressive one. Ooh, very nice. I like the seating on it. I wonder if it can hold two people. I don't see why it wouldn't, but uh, as far as utility goes, I can't see this being terribly useful just because of its small size, but since it's considered for racing, I could see it being a very sporty vehicle and able to get you out of tight situations via its speed and these uh, cannons, although I feel like you should uh, watch your feet. Or maybe not, because, yeah, your feet are back here, so there's really no worry of being shot by the cannons, unless you're in front of it, of course. And this is another one of Espera's ships. Which, uh, like I said before, have a very uh, alien look to them, but I think it's because uh, Espera focuses on more of a hybrid sort of a cooperation with alien companies. But this is the uh, Talon Shrike, I believe. A very interesting fighter, which I noticed all of them kind of look like birds. I mean, that looks like a wing right there, and I don't know, those green accents, very, uh, very striking. It just has such a interesting, uh, well, look to them. I mean, you, you, it's undeniable. It almost looks like their icon. It's a lion, but perhaps they're trying to go for a lion or a bird with a lion for a head. I don't know, but huh? Then again, look at that. There's no windows there. I assume they use a camera system, but huh? Very interesting indeed. Here's the Espera Talon. Which uh, looks very similar, and if I'm not mistaken, it, uh... Okay, so it is the same ship, but the Shrike version basically has more missiles. So, same ship, except that one is a little better than this one. But, my gosh. I wonder how useful these ships are. Because I realize they are Terravin technology, which, uh... If I don't remember, I think the Terravin used to be, like, a... Some cool guys over the universe, but then they lost or something. I really can't remember. It's been a long time since I've uh, read any com links or uh, looked up any things in the archives, though. That's all we got for the Espera exhibit. We have uh, 
Apoa, uh, unknown manufacturer right there, and of course, Espra themselves. A very interesting uh, exhibit, because uh, all of the ships on display, of course, are alien in design, or have some sort of a relation to alien ships, and that's just a, a really cool aspect of the manufacturers that I would have never, uh, never thought of, because, I don't know, I'm more of a guy who likes uh, RSI, and Consolidated Outland, ships like that, you know, very human in nature, not to, not so alien, but to each his own. And well, there I am once again, sitting down, awaiting the next day, which I might not be able to make. I have an important meeting on Daymar. That's going to be a, a while to get there. But hopefully I can make it back in time to see the next expo, or the next day of the expo, which I think might be RSI. I'm not sure, but... Until then, my friends, this has been the Duke, signing off.